are you struggling with physics calculations and uh, maybe when you study and do the calculation and you can't remember or maybe you generally hate physics just because of the fact that um, you don't like the calculations so your reason for hating physics is because you don't like the calculations i think um i personally made this video for you guys and the video is due to a request that i received from um, one of you guys forgotten his name but i'll put his name here and um, he requested for this video and i believe that most of you guys would really need the video because i've observed that majority of science students um loads physics they hate physics maybe because of the calculations and i've been through your level um and if you check my previous videos where i talk about my results and my scores you see that my physics scores are like 90 plus all the jump all the times i wrote jump and we still did physics in our first year so and i believe that in this video um i've really made lots of scores for you guys so that um you won't struggle again with physics calculations if this is your first time on this channel um, welcome back home i'm rafael i'm currently a master student at the university of nigeria and soka and um most of you guys going into physics are trying to prepare for physics for um jump or yec or even um, university exams i would advise that um if immediately you start studying for physics don't just jump into the calculation and let the calculation part not scare you away from reading the theory theoretical part because i think um the fun of physics is the theoretical part if you can um, fully understand the theories very well trust me the calculation will be very easy for you um during your time like during that time that i was precisely preparing for jam um physics was like among the subjects that i loved most like i wrote um chemistry chem um, english biology and physics but physics was like i hated it because of the calculations and everything but um even when i started um studying um physics it Which? became easier for me because I gave it more of my time. You know, um, if you're preparing your timetable or preparing for jam, I will actually advise you guys to um, give, allocate more time for physics. Because the more, when you give it more of your time, like it, you score more in it. You can imagine I hated it among the um, three sub, four subjects that I was writing, but I still scored higher in it. And even in my university level, I still like physics more. Oh, not that I like it, but I just score more in it just because I'm, I understand the theories very well. I read them before going into the calculations. That, that is among the first tips I will be giving for you and um, um, recommending for you guys. So before you rush into the calculations and you're not afraid, 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 please, first of all, know the theoretical part. Read it. Use online sources. Um, use YouTube. Use your textbook. Look for your teachers. Let them explain them to you because if they can do that explanation, trust me, it will be all easy peasy for you. And the second tip I will give for, um, to you guys that have helped me so far in physics is um, note your notes on physics. Like you need to have a separate note for calculations. You know, like you have your general notes for writing in class and doing. Um, you even have your jotter for solving calculations and um, jotting down stuff. But when it comes to calculation, if you are very deliberate and you are very um, passionate about learning the calculations in physics, I will advise that you get a new oh, note, like new notes, new, new, new. And those new, that new note that you are getting, you are using it for the calculations in physics and each topic. Um, you have to include some calculations on that. Like when you are studying a particular topic, let's say you are studying motion. When you are studying motion, write down the topic there. Then find you will find some um, questions on that. It that is after you've studied the theoretical part, and then you are done going to the questions. You will be getting those questions from um, that your textbook or the what you read in class. You are going to include those questions in um that's um new notes for that you got and then let me tell you what to do about the new notes because um i've learned and observed that why so many people find it hard to do well in physics calculations and calculation related subjects is that um they lack um simplification if you want to really be good in calculation stuff you need to learn how to simplify stuff and teach your brain to really um, simplify those concepts because when um, you bug your brain with all the calculations and everything you do not even simplify you do not even take time to assimilate after getting that new note you are going to be 
um, putting in questions um, that we are specified by jam that you should know those questions that jam requires that you should know i made a different video about it i think i'll put the link somewhere or maybe at the end of the video so those are the questions you put inside this um new note i told you guys i told you guys um according to the um subject and according to the topics uh, maybe i told you guys about motion put it on that motion if there are questions on motion put it on motion and you don't need to make it complex just choose the simple ones and put it there and also um then as for the solutions to the questions try to solve the solutions on your jota or your rough but if you are trying to put the solution into this um your new notes that i told you guys to get I will advise that you try your best to explain those solutions to yourself. Don't just copy it all. Don't just copy it in total and just copy and paste from your textbook the solutions. Try to, um, after you've known the solutions and how to solve those questions, first of all, you write down the question. Then the next thing you have to do is to um, think of ways that those solutions could be made better. Think of ways it could be made better, better and then write it into um that space that you've given for that particular question for the answers so just put it there and explain it in such a way that anybody can understand it explain it as if you are explaining to a little baby that means if you can explain it that way that means you really understood the questions and these calculation questions anyone you don't understand you can go on youtube and find the answers that's number one and then number two is try to sleep over it try to sleep on it try to uh, really know how those questions were formulated and something i used to do for myself then is that after I maybe study uh, those questions i'll just try to reframe the questions for myself maybe um, i will try to remove some variables this one you can do it on your rough paper but um this in the real essence of this is that um this the memory and how to solve that kind of a thing is very easy to you and is very much simplified um to you then the next thing you need to do about this solution is to try to think of shortcuts because jump physics is not about it's not asking you how, is this is not why physics is not naked physics that will tell you to give all the steps and to even prove formulas this is jump physics and you need to be smart about it just try your best find shorter shortcuts just sit down and think how can i get this answer better um what other ways can i use to arrive at this particular answer without following this long process remember i told you that long process that is you write it inside that your um jota or stuff and the shortcut just find a place put it aside so that um it will be it will be um needed later during your revision i'll also explain it so after you are done with this um i've also observed that students after study um, they forget and that kind of a thing and one of the reasons is that uh, once you assimilate a new information a new pathway is being created in your brain and to really explain pathway i'll say maybe you, you, you know your village bush if they are trying to maybe create a road through that bush maybe they will use their machete and cut through the bush and that is like a new pathway that is what happens whenever you digest a new information or maybe you learn a new calculation or whatever you learn especially calculation you are creating a new pathway every new information is like a new pathway and for the brain once you don't um follow that pathway or maybe um do stuff to make that pathway strong you will see that you try you will start forgetting and that is if you don't do your revision very well you know though that the particular um, illustration i'm using for you guys the bush village bush once you don't um most people don't use that particular route maybe after a week or after a month when you come back to that particular road that was made the, that was really well cleared you find out that bushes have grown um over it and that is what happens to your brain your brain will think the information is not very valid and that is why your brain will try to shuffle it inside inside very back at the back of your brain but you just have to find a way to revise 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 and how you can why i um suggested that you guys should get a new note is because of this revision of a stop so that when, once you have gone through or maybe you've jotted out some questions that um, we are difficult and also jot down the simple ones and you've solved them and you've gotten their um, shortcuts according to all the topics i don't know how many topics in that that's in that 
test we have to maybe up to 20 or 22 topics so once you've gone once you've done this and you've jotted down um calculation questions on them once it's time for the exam it won't be hard for you to revise revisiting those information that you've already memorized or those calculations you've already solved earlier um it's just like walking through that pathway that was already created and the more you walk through it the more stronger it becomes for the brain that is why there are some information that you cannot forget you cannot forget your name why because you have you, the information have been traveling some people have been calling you that name and you've been remembering your name every day you have been using it daily and it has been it has now become like a very strong pathway same thing with calculations if you can take your time and try to um revise what you've already studied even if it's two times a week or even once a week it is better than just waiting till your exam time that is why when you enter the exam hall you've already read these things some months ago but when you enter the exam hall uh, everything will become strange to you you'll not be asking yourself did i even read this i don't know whether you wanted to do revision sometime in your notebook and you and you are like um did i when did i even solve it is it me that solved this is it me that did this solution is it me that read this, this? so at a particular point in time i understood this what happened is that um, you have not been using that pathway that you've already created for that information so this is how the brain works so that's why revision is very much important try to revise your stuff try to revise this note this special note you've already dedicated for your calculation questions and try to make it less complex i know um, when you check your past questions you will see lots of difficult questions those past years 1970 something most of them they don't they're not using current syllables and i will also advise that when you encounter most questions that you can't solve i advise you to go and find a friend or maybe you type it on type it on google because most questions that there has been asked or most past questions now they are they are like recycled questions and most students have provided an answer to it online so just go online type it there you see the solutions and learn from it and if you can't learn through it then find a friend till now i still ask some people in my class um to get answers of what i don't really understand very well no, you can read something and you feel like you understand it, but you feel like you understood it. But when you ask for that people and you see their explanation, like it's 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 like a light. And most times you don't forget the explanation. So if this works for you, just try and check it out. Try using your past question for revising. For me, people that ask me where should I start reading, if you can start from 2010 upwards, I think you will gain lots. Don't dwell on the most difficult calculations. Those calculations, most times you won't see them in the examination hall, trust me. What matters is that you understood the theories behind them. And if you have this um, um, new note that I told you guys to get, even if it's 20 leaves, just find a way and try to make it neat because the brain remembers more of things that are well written and neat. The brain remembers those stuff. And thank you for watching. And also, I would advise you guys to check out this video that I made for you guys to, so that you can know the type of question you should write inside that particular notebook i made this special video for you guys on it uh, and these um, calculations that were required for you to know before you enter your examination hall just try and check out the video thanks for watching guys i love you guys and also make a video for um you guys that will, after study you enter the examination hall and you can't remember anything i don't know whether that stuff happened to you and you just feel blank that, those stuff have happened to me countless times and I've found ways to really defeat them. But for now, maybe try out this video and know so that you can know the calculations that are most for you to know before going into your exam. Well, thanks for watching. I love you guys. See you again.